Welcome, everyone. We're, uh, we're here once again to play some Dark Forces. This will be uh, the next show. So I guess the... Um, what's the last show I did? The Populist show just came out. And now it is time to, uh, <clears throat> to roll into some Star Wars action with 1995's Dark Forces. So uh, I got the Steam version here, which um, I launched via Steam. But then all, all the fancy sound stuff was, uh, was defaulted for compatibility. So uh, I didn't want to do that. So uh, as we can see, so I had it set up. So I, I basically pulled it out of Steam and set it up in my own DOSBox uh, setup here, so I could uh, fiddle with things as I tend to do. So let's see here. Okay, so let's put the DIR, and we got a couple of things here. So what I had to go in and do is uh, fiddle with the. I'm use system here. Uh, custom. So see, I have it set up to general MIDI. So it is using my, uh, what's it called? Roland SC55 general MIDI device. So let's see if we can do a little test. Oh, I love it. The little bars on my SC55 are doing stuff. Okay, so everything's all set up here. I already set this up. So. Let's get right into things by typing dark. DOS 4GW protected mode runtime. Oh, yes. So here we are in the wonderful LucasArts menu. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Probably kick up the music a touch. It's the beauty of having a, an external device playing your music. You can uh, you can change the volume of the uh, of the of the music independent of everything else without having to fiddle with software. There's actually a knob on the SC55 that lets me adjust the volume. Isn't that awesome? So, anyways, there's here's the whole the whole story, the traditional uh, Star Wars crawl. So unable to acquire the plans for the Deadly Space Station, the Rebels have employed the skills of Kyle Katarn, known to most as a mercenary for hire. Katarn is a rogue figure who has a partial alliance with the Rebels, armed only with a blaster pistol and an intimate knowledge of Imperial methods. Katarn prepares to infiltrate the Imperial base in which the plans are kept. Now, I, I wasn't paying attention to the first part. So I'm assuming these are the plans to the second Death Star, but I can't quite remember. I'm sure the cutscene, the ensuing cutscene, if there is one, will uh, will remind me. It's a regular pan down onto a planet. Kyle Katarn's ship, whose name I cannot remember at the moment. Possibly the Moldy Crow. It might be the Moldy Crow, but it might be something else. Good music, la -di da but uh, I think we can skip the credits. Enter your name. I like calling myself Billy in games because I am Billy Bob 476 and we will hit yes okay so agents billy's mission secret base well i guess we shall begin the mission so prologue mission one the death star plans operation skyhook phase two confidential method message from senator mon mothma the rebellion is counting on the completion of this mission commander katarn i hope success is on your side the death star plans are locked away at an imperial secret base on the planet denuda where they await transport to lord vader very little is known about the layout of the base itself, so I'm afraid you will have to act as your own reconnaissance. Once you have the plans, get out immediately. Operation Skyhook will deliver the plans to Princess Leia on the consular ship Tantive 4. She will then continue the mission. Okay, so these are the original Death Star plans. We're looking at, uh, this is pre A New Hope. So, mission objectives, find and retrieve the Death Star plans, return to your ship on the roof of the base. 
it's set to easy. You know what? We want to go through the game, so for now, we'll we'll play on easy, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, let's see if I remember how to play this game. WSD. Ooh, this is quick moving. Alright, so Blaster Pistol does not shoot very quickly, I will give it that. Okay. Nothing here. Whoop! Where are you? That takes a few shots, that's for sure. Okay, so, shield units, so there's shield and there's luck. Whoop! Okay, let's jump. So how do I open stuff? Let's see. Configuration. Screen size, graphic detail, gamma correction, calibrate joystick. Return to game. Okay, it looks like, looks like this is Doom style, or unless, is it like this? What's this button do? No. No. E. F. Jump. Probably should have taken a look at the controls. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Ooh, blaster rifle. All right, now we're ready to rock. Energy units. Well, I'm looking forward to this 2D Thompson 2, since I haven't played this game in a very, very long time. Okay. Well, the frame rate's definitely good. Then again, I am playing this on an i7. Okay, well, what I'm going to have to do is temporarily pause the game. I'm going to have to control F10, and I am going to have to... Dark Forces Control... Okay, return to game. Okay, so I can't go there. There we go, that's how it works. Alright. Die, Stormtrooper. I can't remember if in the original game there was Mouse Look or not. Jump space, he crouch, thanks D. Thompson too. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stream this game tonight, and then depending on how far I get, and if I want to play more, I may do it again, or I may, uh, the next stream may just... Oops, two is better. Yeah, I figure the uh, pistol's usually better for distance work. Nice pistol, better for distance. There we go. All right. Yeah, the game is definitely faster paced than I remember. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay. Telephone. Just kill that for a sec. Yeah, that's nobody. Won't need to answer that. Okay, so I'm in some kind of weird... Okay, I won't go there for now. But I suspect that may be the place that I will need to go. No, 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 no. Uh-huh. Okay, there we are. Oop. Come on. Okay. Good. Oh, oh 
Well, that looked like it was a thing. Okay, let's try and get back there. It's hard, definitely hard to see. I'm also playing in a small window, which I really need a proper two monitor setup on this machine. I'm only running one 24 inch. Okay. Which was fine when I wasn't streaming, but when I'm streaming, I like to make sure that I'm actually streaming. Okay, let's see. Maybe there's another another way around here. Okay, 15 energy units. Got a dead stormtrooper. Okay, so it looks like I do have to go into one of these contraptions here. gonna fall this time. A revive, whatever that means. So now what? So there's gotta be some kind of entrance or something around here to get me up or something. So this is probably it. This doesn't look like where I came from, so let's... Ah! Definitely. Red key, all right. He's kind of a weird. A weird action button, though I guess it is close to ASDF, so. This looks like the red key door, and I think we should probably... Oh, I can't save? Let's check my handy-dandy iPad. Maybe there's a quick save or something. F1, F2, F3, F4. Boom, 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 boom. Host of weapons, cycle like weapons, pause game. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, whatever. Ugh. I'll be interested to see to read later on. What? What? To read? Oh, look, it's a mouse droid. That's cute. MSE6 mouse droid. So, as I was saying, it'll be interesting later to read what engine this actually runs on, because, like I said, it's pretty quick. Huh. Don't like mouse droid noises. Ooh. I sense there's gonna be stormtroopers here. Huh. And here ones are killed. Now I'm upstairs, so that's a kind of a good thing. Okay, so here's my map, so that's good. I've got two weapons. Oh, there's an inventory. I have a red key. Objectives! Find and retrieve the Death Star plans. Return to your ship on the roof of the base. Okay. So let's see. I might have to go back down. I may have missed something in that first one. Let's see here. Well, that didn't work at all. That's okay. At least I know where to go now. I don't think it's here. It's this guy. So I guess the Death Star plans aren't here, are they? I can just randomly use computers. That's not helpful. What was through here? Super important here. Well, I guess I definitely need to be here. Okay, 
Okay, so I turned that. Ooh, look at that. Is there a, is there a shift? <sighs> Yay! I found a secret. And now I fell down again. Bum bum bum. Oh, wait a sec. Was I some? Am I downstairs now? Yes, I'm downstairs. And I don't. Did I see this door? I'm sure I did. Yes, this is the other. Oh. Retarded. So this whole time, I just have to look back here. So that was a waste of a lot of time. Anyways. And here is the Hollow of the Death Star, as you can see. So where are the plans? You're in Those definitely look like the Death Star plans to me. This is too easy. Now to get to my ship. I will argue that that was not easy at all. Mission one complete. That was long, but uh, that'll teach me to check every corner. Next mission. Mission goals complete. Continue to next mission. Yes. Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. has approved your test demonstration, General Mock. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's war will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. With pleasure. Dark Trooper, release. Ooh, the Arc Hammer. Very impressive, General. The Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. 
Certainly, Lord Vader. Ah, the Rebel Fleet. Nebulon B class escort frigate. Thank you, Commander, for responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talay. This is Tech Base to anybody out there. Please, we're under Imperial attack. There were no reason there was no warning at all. Total devastation. They broke through our shields. They broke through our shields! Tech Base was destroyed within minutes. Many innocent people in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack. Except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer Crix Medine wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. Hmm. A new stormtrooper that can take out a rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. The Rebel Command is not taking this lightly. They have authorized me to hire you to find out if there is a threat, and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. This could be interesting. All right, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Thank you, Commander. And may the Force be with you. Ah, introduced to my counterpart, Jan Ors. What, if I remember correctly, becomes pretty important in the whole uh, series to come. Okay, mission two. Talifor Tech Base, after the massacre. It's good to see you, Kyle. Good job on Operation Skyhook. The Rebels were very impressed. Now it's back to mission hopping just like the old days. Rebel Command has made a brief reconnaissance of the area. And it's swarming with Imperial activity. The power is still down in the city, so some of the systems are going to be down as well. You'll need to find the main hydroelectric power generator and get it back online. It looks like that, okay. The Empire usually gets sloppy after a major offensive, so we may be able to find evidence or leads about this new dark trooper we've been hearing about through Crix Dean. His contacts inside the Empire will help us follow up on anything you may pick up. Good hunting, Kyle. Mission objectives, find and start hydroelectric power generator, find a clue about the Dark Trooper, return to landing area. We'll stay on easy for the moment since uh, I clearly had some issues in that last mission. Is there really no quick save? I find that interesting. So I guess you have to, have to do the whole mission all in one shot. Way too much ammo killing that guy. I do like how this is kind of a more old school Stop where you are. FPS where you don't actually have to uh, load anything, clips or anything like that. Come on. 
Pathetic numpad for key mapper. G. Nope, I don't have infrared goggles yet. Infrared two. Nope. Uh, cleats, gas mask. F. Head torch. F. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's helpful. Bodies, kind of uh, an homage to uh, Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. You're not all the right. I like the fact that there's no doors, but I can just walk through these big holes. No doors in this level seem to open. No, I'm not. I'm just walking. I'm walking i not in violation of Imperial anything. You guys need to be quiet. So I'm assuming this is the actual rebel base. Ooh, that looks like fun. This must be because I'm on easy mode. Don't need any of that. Oh, that headlight is damned handy. Okay, so... How do we get farther in here? Yeah! <laughs> okay, so this looks like the place I want to be, but I need to extend... Alright, is the weapon supercharge dying? So I think I need to find a way to extend the bridge on that power plant thing. Death Star Trooper. Death Star Trooper. Consult the map again. Or maybe not what's in here. Surrender, oh, what a storm troopers. Holy crap. Anyone else? Anyone else? Who wants some? Who wants some? Anybody? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you shooting? Behind the bar. Dastardly. Dastardly, I say. Did that. Find clue for Dark Trooper. Let's 
So, what's that way? Probably nothing. Okay, let's keep wandering around. No, it's nothing. Oh, that was convenient. No, I can't jump that high. Oh, right, there's power now, so I can see, so I don't need my light. I light off. Got all these horrible burned bodies. Disturbing. Or if it was more realistic looking, it'd be disturbing. Well, I'd say I can't really complain about the graphics. I think they look fine. Uh, yeah, so I went this way. This is the way I came in. Alright, this way I went up. Bum, bum, bum. So, clue about Dark Trooper. Oh, that's why the doors don't work, because there was no power. Now I understand. It's all very logical. So now the trick is to find a clue about the Dark Trooper. So this is like back at the beginning. I didn't take... There was a whole bunch of little turns and stuff I didn't necessarily take. The other thing that's surprising is this game's moving real fast, but it is not making me in any way nauseous. Unlike uh, Doom and Wolf 3D. Well, Wolf 3D I understand. It was very rudimentary. But Doom also kind of, uh, kind of did me in a little bit. But this game is either so either I'm used to it or there's something different about uh, about this game. And I can't say I'm quite sure what it is, but I'll take it. I like not feeling ill. I'm very sensitive, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I think I mentioned in the last video, I really gotta replace this keyboard. The, uh, this is a, a first gen G15, and uh, the lights on it are flickering, and some of the keys don't work, and you know, one of these days, it's something that's gonna have to be done. Okay, let's get back upstairs, because I think the important stuff is likely on the other side where the base is. This, logically, should be where the Dark Trooper stuff is. And now that I can actually... I don't need the med kits, because this is easy mode. Literally, that's the bar that I decimated. Convoluted rebel base. Set blasters off. Oh. So obviously, if there's a guy there, I didn't get there. So how do I get there? Okay, so this is an area I have not yet been to. And this thing is pointing on the wrong side. Oh, hello, what's this? So it's over 
there. So I have been here. I need to either turn that thing somehow. stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's get back. Halt! Halt yourself. So I think this is going to turn over now. Stop where you are. No? Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? You? No, definitely not. There you go. These stormtroopers have aim. Just. So there's definitely like a lot of openings and ways to get through things. Signal. Oh, I guess I got like a shield supercharged and didn't even realize it. the dark trooper weapon. Okay, so now... Where is the land itself? Okay, that was a secret. is the max. This way, will it be faster? Check my map, will it tell me where the landing site is? Objectives, return to the landing area. I guess this is that at the beginning. Bum, 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 bum. Power generator, dark trooper, fine thing, fine set, return to landing area. I'll assume it's back at the beginning. See, so yeah, I don't know if, like, more modern games have made me very... Jaded is the wrong word, the opposite of jaded. Lazy. 
lazy could be one. Because they kind of give you directions. You know, this is, go here now, go here now. Big arrows pointing in the right direction. Older games, like this one, kind of leave it up to you to figure it out. So I kind of said the same thing about Thief. Now it's like, get back to... Whoa, whoa. It's like, get back to the landing area. There's no huge arrow saying the landing area is here. Alt. Oh, oh. I haven't been here before. There's been some respawns. I'm gonna say respawns. Nope, this I already did. Mm-hmm, definite respawns. I also kind of like the fact that you have to find your way back to to the beginning. It makes things a little bit more realistic in my mind at least. Here? How about here? This seems pretty reasonable. Yes! Okay, so I think that'll do for tonight. Uh, I will probably do a little more of this. Uh, I think I'm going to keep. I don't feel like these two missions have been quite enough for me. So uh, I'll do another session maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. But uh, I'll let you guys know, as usual. And um, yeah. Thank you very much for uh, for streaming with me for a little while here, and uh, we'll do a little more Dark Forces in uh, the next little while. Bye-bye.